Hello everyone, Cheshire the Cat on the scene with Stories Untold. I originally was planning on recording The Void because of the theme of color from Prodigal and how well that felt in the last game. However, The Void had, rather has, use of artistic nudity, which it's iffy in the terms of service between Twitch and YouTube, and I would rather not chance it. So instead, I promised a friend I'd play a horror game, and I'm going to try to play a couple of different horror games across this year. We'll have some fun. Let's start with The House Abandoned, Episode 1. Uh, start. I know nothing of this game. Some commands may be case sensitive. Keep a lookout for hints. Oh, do I have to do text commands? Devolver Digital. Oh, what is this? Stranger Things? This looks like a good time to sip my coffee. I like the focus in and out like that. Yeah, what is this, Stranger Things? Or like some 80s horror show? I mean, it's probably really inspired by that, but let's check it out. Oh, if I have to actually do text commands, that's gonna take me way back. Oh, God. Oh, um... The house abandoned. Alright. God, that takes me back. That, the, oh, am I, like, actually effective in this? Is that a Commodore 64? Oh, that's so cool! Okay. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time long ago. You remember being told to look in the glove box before you go in. It's good to be back. Wait. Oh, do I have to actually, like, type in... Oh, um... Check. Glove box. Inside is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. The note is from your dad and reads, Hi son, hope you enjoy your break. You'll need to fire up the generator around back to get power and lights on. Also found something in the attic for you. It's in your room. Enjoy. Press enter T key to continue. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's as idyllic as you remember from all that time ago. You remember me? Oh, okay. It's good to be back. Um... Walk to generator. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Yeah, this is a Commodore 64 game, alright. Oh, boy. Um... Look... Oh! Um... Get out of car. You open the car door and step out. The house is grand, sat perfectly amongst the trees. In front of you is the front door, and the yard stretches around the side of the house. Um... Walk around house. I don't know what you're trying to use. Ah! Alright, um, walk. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Uh, oh, what was it? Um, the generator's outside. L look. Generator. This really is like an old Commodore 64 game. Oh god, I don't know what you're looking at. Um, look house. The lights are all off. No one else is here. Um, unlock front door. You insert the key and turn. The door lock clicks open. Open door. You step inside the front door. You enter the house of the hallway. It's dark and you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door, however. Try switch. 
Oh, for the love of turn switch. Uh, turn on switch. Oh, for the love of switch next to the door. Oh, wait. Flip switch. Oh, for the love of light. Turn on light switch. A click and nothing. There is no power. The note? Who should say how to restore it? Um. Leave house. Step outside for the front door. The house is grand, side perfectly. Yeah, okay. Um. Stretches around the side house. Um. Uh. Ex ex explore yard. Or yard. Oh god, boy. So, for those that have never played a Commodore 64 game, this is exactly what it feels like, uh, what they were like. Um, this was like Space Quest, uh, god, Adventure. Some of these games were really good, and some of them were super finicky with the text commands. So you had to actually imprompt prompt in the command for your character, and then the game would respond naturally. So this is really, really taking me back. Uh, da -da -da -da. Walk side of house. Crap. Um, walk around yard. Oh my lordy. Walk yard. Um, oh. Uh, walk to back of house. Oh, for the love of... Read note. I'll read that and read Tyson. Hope you enjoy your break. Usually they put the text commands in these. Generator around back. Yeah, so the generator's around the back. So... Uh... Oh, it is just gonna make me wait for the text. Yeah, that's counter... Um... Walk to back of house walk to back yard do I have to go through the house um because if I try to walk down the hall in the dark that just sounds like a bad time uh okay hold on enter house Step inside the front door. You enter the house or the hallway. Feel a light switch. Um, walk down hallway. Walk hallway. Oh lordy. Move forward. Oh my god. Okay, so it's not just gonna let me in. Leave house. Boy, is it responding to me? It's responding to me typing on that Commodore 64. That's funny. Um, shoot. Is this going to make me look up a list of commands? Hmm. Okay. Stretches around the side of the house. Walk across yard. Alright. Um, I have to use my brain. Okay. Wait, could it be as simple as go around? Shoot. Look around. 
The trees stretch up to the night sky. There is a house in the yard. Go around. Oh. Oh my god. Uh. Restart. Restart game. Ah, uh, boy. Get into car. Open the door and get back in the car. Yeah, let's just start over, shall we? <laughs> boy. Okay, you pull up to the... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so... Open... Glove box. Taking the contents. Okay. Get out of car. Okay. Now let's try... Go round. Oh my lord. So... How do I... What am I supposed to do? That makes the most sense. Go around house. You step inside the front door. But you can't see anything. You feel a light switch next to the door. Go around. Ugh, leave house. I was at the front door. <laughs> oh boy. What part of this is supposed to be scary other than the fact that clearly some of my commands don't seem to work? Alright. Go around to backyard. You take a walk around to the yard. Ugh. Oh. Some of these have to be so specific. The yard is well maintained. You spent a lot of time here with your family. Holiday trips. Good memories. Look around. You see a generator on the back wall of the house. Use... Oh, I misspelled generator. <laughs> Use generator. You switch the generator on and it works to life. The house is still dark. Uh, go back. Back around the front of the house. So now we have power! Hooray! In front of you is the front door. The yard stretches and the line out of... Okay. Enter house. You step inside the front door. In the meantime, I've had the house unlocked. That's cool. Feel the light switch next to the door. Flip switch. Oh my god. Use switch. You flick the switch and the lights come on. Yay! We have light! The hallway is now brightly lit. There is access to the kitchen and the living room here, as well as a set of stairs going up. Um. Go to kitchen. I gotta go for a drink. You walk into the kitchen. The kitchen is tidy and well kept. There is a door to a utility room, but otherwise it's just a kitchen. Uh, check. Utility room. I like exploring! This is fun. I don't understand. Okay. Open door. Utility room door is locked. You have no idea where the key could be. Uh, go back. Go back. Go back. Go back out the hallway. God, this really takes me back. Really, there's a kitchen and a living room here. Um, go living room. Step inside the living room. A spacious and comfortable living room. We spent a lot of good time in here playing board games with the family. Warm and inviting. Look around. There's nothing here of interest. Alright, go back. You go back out the hallway. Always no brightly lit, there is access to a kitchen. God, it really is a Commodore 64 game. Or, I guess this would be like the earliest version of visual novels? Maybe? Like, interactive story. Um, go upstairs. The landing. Stairwell landing. There is a bathroom and two bedrooms, yours and your sister's. Pictures adorn the walls, images of happy times. Um, go to bathroom. 
You step inside the bathroom. <laughs> May as well just explore. The bathroom, there's not much to know, but it's all in good order. Look around. The bathroom is clean. A large mirror sits in the sink. Look. Reflection. Let's see if that's the thing. Ah, well, it was worth a try. Go back. Back onto the landing. Um. Bathroom. Uh. Look. Pictures. Family photos and holiday snaps. Our happy family. Go. To my room. You walk into your old room. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here, and it's been preserved so well. On the desk is a gift wrap. Is a gift wrap box. Uh, take gift. Sorry, I don't understand. Look around. It's a standard bedroom. A desk, a wood grain TV, the usual. You mean the one I'm looking at right now? Uh, go back. I want to check something before I open the present. Um, go to sister. Go to sister's bedroom. Walk into your sister's old room. Sister. Sister's room is in perfect condition, untouched since all that. Why that blip like that? Seen here posters of her heroes and some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves have crammed full of trophies. Her bed is drowned under a pile of colorful soft toys. Salt trip. Look around. There's also a large wardrobe in the corner room. The door is slightly ajar. Look. Wardrobe. A large clothes wardrobe. Unusually, the door is slightly ajar. She never likes you going through her stuff. Well, then I'm not going to go through it. Go back. Cool. Uh, let's go to my room and open the present, then. I've looked around. Go to my room. Well, and keep in mind, the thing that makes this so interesting is they had to input the individual text commands that would work for all of these. Open gift. 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 Open gift. You unwrap the gift excitedly. You can't believe it. Dad has found your old computer. A Futuro 128K plus 2. <laughs> oh, God. 128 bits, huh? 128 kilobytes. Woo. And preserved well in the attic and hopefully still works. Your old bedroom. So many good memories in here. Our desk is a future and a copy of the house abandoned. Pretty meta, huh? Play a game. Why not? Okay. Go to desk. Um, look. Desk. L look game it's a new horror game called the house abandoned looks ace play game play the house abandoned I have to play the game in the game Oh boy! Hi, Oh, really? Do I have. You know what? Um, I'm gonna go back to my sister's room, after all. Maybe there's some wires or something that I missed. Go, sister's room. Blah, 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 blah. Poster some of her own attempts at art adorn the walls. A few shelves crammed full of trophies. Her bed is. Troy is a real nostalgia trip. Look. Wardrobe. A large clothes wardrobe. Because I remember. Yeah, okay. Alright, you know what? Open. Wardrobe. It is empty apart from a pile of scattered photographs. Look. Photographs. They're all identical. A forest road at night. You put them back. Uh, 
photos of another time. I got an achievement. All right. Um, go back. Step back on the landing. Weird. So, did I just look for no reason? Um, go to my room. Wait, did I set up the computer? <laughs> would it be that? Would it be that simple? Set up compute compute. Set up computer. You start to play. <laughs> Some leads. The computer is all set up and ready to go. There is a game here too. Play game. Cassette on the computer and press play. Yeah, that was what you did. You put the cassette. What? Um. Whoa. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. All right, that was a well done jump scare. Good job, game. Woo. Sheesh. I. Whoa. Okay. Okay. That was well done. Oh. Woo. That was a spoon in my coffee cup hitting my glasses. Oh, God. Okay, okay, that was cool. You pull up to the driveway of the family holiday home and park the car. It's dark, but it's clearly neglected. You remember being told to check the glove box before going in. You can't stand to be near this place. I'm sorry? Open glove box? Inside there is a key and a handwritten note from Dad. You take both. Read note. You don't recognize the handwriting. It says, get out, 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 get out. Get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car, get out of the car. Um. You pull up to the driveway. Okay. Oh, and now it's midnight. What happened? It was like 11.55 a minute ago. Oh, God. Um. Maybe I don't want to get out of the car. Of. Car. You force the warped car open and fall out. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind and all the happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Uh, okay. Um. Look around. The lights are off, windows are broken, there is no front there is the front door and a yard. Um I couldn't get in without turning on the generator. Or I couldn't turn on the lights without a generator, so go around. Oh, go around house. The door appears to be locked, you'll need to use a key. Go to backyard. You step through the debris to the backyard. The grass is overgrown, the weeds crawl up the side of the house. This is not a nice place to be. You clutch the note, needing to look around. Look around. What happened? There's an old generator next to you. Use generator. Whoa! That wasn't like that before. There isn't much fuel, but the generator starts up. Oh, God! Uh, go back. You go back to the front of the house. The house looks abandoned. There is a yard to the side. Wood creaks in the wind, and all happy memories are gone from this place. There is no love here. Oh, this is so cool! Oh, God! I'm actually loving this! Uh, use key. You unlock the door. The click of the lock hurts to hear. Uh, keep going. Uh, oh, open door. You reluctantly step inside the front. Pitch black, but your senses are punished but more by the smell. Stale air and damp. This could not be any less inviting. The note burns in your hands. You feel compelled to read it over and over. Um, look around. Fumbling about on the wet walls, you find a light switch. Flip 
light switch. Afraid of what you might see, you flick the light switch. The lights flicker on and off. The walls are falling apart after using a glifter worse. There are stains and trails all over the- Oh, God! Upstairs, the sound of an alarm clock is blaring. Someone else is in the house. That can't be. Turn off alarm. Somehow the alarm stops. You can feel the panic set. Am I telling the story of someone else, like, in the house? As I'm playing the game? You're still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone is in the house. They should not be here. There is a kitchen and a living room adjacent. The stairs go up. The note feels disgusting into your hands. Uh... Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Uh... Go to... Living room. You enter the living room. The living room, although hardly appropriate term, the furniture is threadbare and worn. The note is fixing your mind. Dread fills your stomach. This is not a nice place. Look around. Oh, I'm like scared of what I'm gonna find here. Run down and empty, abandoned for good reason. Uh, go back. You return to the hallway. Oh god. 999? Um, go to kitchen. You go into the kitchen. The kitchen stinks and feels completely unfamiliar. The tabletops are rusted metal. There is a carcass on the table. There is writing on the wall, and the utility door has a red X painted on it. Oh, God. Um, look, writing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god this is so cool oh, I'm loving this uh, in blood the number 1986 is smeared across the wall uh, okay um, look around kitchen there seems to be writing on the wall in what looks like blood um, look Utility door. There's a red X on the door. You assume it's paint. Yeah, must be paint. It feels like the note. I'm gonna hate myself for this. Look. Carcass. You look closer, but can't tell what it is or what it was. Uh, go back. You step back to the hallway. Your shoes are wet. Uh, still in the hallway. The noise has stopped, but you feel a presence. Someone's in the house. They should not be here. There's a kitchen and a living room with Jason, and stairs leading up. The note feels disgusting in your hands. Uh, oh. oh, God, there's the 1986 on the wall! Oh. Was that phone there this whole time? Oh, man. Go upstairs? Upstairs? Starries? Upstairs. Okay, you head up the stairs. They creak. Oh, 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 the game is like breaking. Same but different. He, landing axes across the room and there's this. Because over the. Good lord! The phone rings. Don't, you don't understand, neither can he. Uh. Answer. Phone? Because I can't do it like with the mouse. It's beside the phone. So you can taste iron. Oh, god! Voices spill out of the phone into the room. Whoever is in there should not be there. You need to hang up the phone. I do, however, you consider the worst. Um. I'm gonna listen. Voices. You can't hear yourself think it's too much. Hang up. Relief. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister, sister's room, your room, and the bathroom. Pictures all over the wall, but something is different about them. Uh, look, pictures. The pictures are of your family. The eyes have been scored out on all. Uh, 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 uh go bathroom. I feel like I'm gonna puke. You enter the bathroom. The bathroom feels disgusting. Every surface is covered in a layer of oily grime. The sink is a haven for all kinds of bugs. Uh, look around. Broken mirror hangs above the dirty sink. Taps rusted in position. 
look reflection. Sorry, I don't know what you're looking at. Oh, I don't either. Go back. Oh, God. <sighs> this is cool. Like, this is... Part of me is so happy because of the throwback to classic Commodore 64 games, which is awesome. But, uh, it's very rare that a horror game be done super well like this. And I'm expecting this, I'm expecting to make, um, since it's four individual games in one, I'm going to play each of them as their own episode. So this may turn into, uh into oh god part of me wants to make it a sunday special just so i can be consistent across the week uh no i'll put the fourth episode up on tuesday uh but let's keep going oh i'm loving this uh go to sister's room jennifer's room is boarded up you can't bear this why is it boarded up oh, why does her name Oh, uh, boy. Oh, that's freaky. This is so weird. Um, look, boards? Maybe I can take them down? Sorry, I don't understand what you're looking at. Oh, it just took me back! Alright, um... Go to my room. The door is bolted shut with a four-digit combination lock. Wait, then how'd I get in here? Um, use lock. You grab the lock. The lock is rusted, not used in years. The key in your hand weighs heavy, the note heavier. You grab the lock and now input the code. 1986. The lock clicks open. Same but different. The landing has access to your sister's room, to your room, then to my room. Ah, uh, ha, oh, ha, oh boy. What is different about them? Uh, open door. Oh! You open the bedroom door. Oh, God. Go to my room. Go to your bedroom. The bedroom feels utterly familiar. You know, the note, the walls are damp, but you've been here before. In front of you, a lone person sits in front of the computer screen. The lamp is on, the clock reads 9999. You shouldn't be here, I shouldn't be here. You grip the note tight. Uh, read. Note. Well, no, look around. Look around. Look around, is there anything else? You see me sitting there. Helpless, you edge closer. Uh, read note I'm sorry Jennifer I'm sorry mom I'm sorry dad you haunt every step I take even in this place I was out of my hands but you still punish me I can't be with you now there's nothing left to do I'm consumed and confused this has to end now end now you're pathetic it was all your fault say it it was all my fault. I don't believe you like you mean it, please. It was all my fault. It was all my fault. Say it. And I'm feeling like I'm gonna regret this. Oh boy. My fault. Finally. What? Okay. All right. <sighs> oh, God. That's really well done. Oh, I hope I could expect the same quality in the other three games. Holy crap! 
<laughs> uh, do these all have to do with one another? Well, I did say I would keep each of these separate to their own episode, and I'm going to stay true to that. So for now, that may have made for... Oh, that's a 35-minute episode. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. That was good. I'm really excited to play the next part. Uh, but until then, this is Cheshire the Cat, signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.